hyperbaric oxygen that became more under control told me that he had alligators and chainsaws in his head. Admiral, are you familiar with this process? Yes, sir, I am. If, if, if it can help, if it may help, I'm in. He is going to have someone come meet with me. He wants to see what we can do to move this study quicker than what might be suicidal. To get them into a treatment regimen because it can't hurt. It can only help. Uh, and so even in those cases, we're encouraged by some of the things that we're seeing. So we, we think that, that we're on to something here. To such a simple answer to restoring lives and families. It's just these little thinking processes coming back. One of the biggest frustrations with this has been the failure for others to appreciate the simplicity of it. He's smiling again, which is something that I haven't seen him do. This veteran was sitting in the corner of the room, crying, pistol to his head, uh, safety off, and was ready to kill himself. It just anything would set him off. He got angry at everything. Um, Every one of the lay public gets this immediately. It's intuitively obvious. But uh, my saying has been that, you know, only doctors don't he get it. He started running again, which is something else that he used to love to do. And but I'm going to predict, and it's kind of like what Babe Ruth did, when he pointed to the center field fence and said, this is going over the center field fence. This is going over the center field fence. This is going to revolutionize medicine and neurology. Mm -hmm.